money has its utility, uh, primarily as a tool for doing things, really. You know, you can think about it as a, as a means for obtaining luxury items, but that gets dull pretty quickly for most people that have any sense. It's like, I've been to the houses of very wealthy people, and some of them are quite remarkable, but most of them, because they're creative people, but most of the time, I remember going to a gated community, for example, in California. It's a huge house, it's probably 10,000 square feet, but it was no different than a 2,000 square foot house. It was just bigger. Like the stoves were bigger, the fridge was bigger, the wine cellar was bigger, the rooms were bigger. Who cares? It's more to take care of. It's not helpful for anything unless you're using it for a creative purpose. And you know, they also lived in a gated community and you can hardly imagine anything duller than that. You know, like, there's nothing there. There's no bars, there's no nightlife, there's no nightclubs, there's no, there's no corner stores, there's no churches, there's nowhere for people to hang out. There's not even any sidewalks. So, so who, who cares? And we know that the relationship between income and I'll call it happiness, it's, it's a pathetic measure, really, but we could say well-being or life quality. I've heard that the, I've heard that most people are just all right with around seventy thousand dollars. Well, you're all right and with anything more than that is just excessive. Well, the, you're all your money has done as much for you as it can do by the time you can pay your bills. Yeah. That's but think about it. This is the reason, especially in a place like North America. It's like, well, define wealth. All right, that's easy. Heat in the winter, air conditioning in the summer, running water, right, reliable shelter and the provision of high quality food. Once you've got those, and, and then we could add to that, access to all the world's information. Okay, everyone has that virtually, unless you've fallen right out of society. You know, those are the things that, that, that stave off, maybe we could add reasonable access to healthcare to that. Although for most people, especially if they're young and healthy, that's irrelevant. But it, once you have those first six things, indoor plumbing, for example, you're, you're already overwhelmingly rich by, by historical and even worldwide standards. You're already in the top one-tenth of one percent of all the human beings that have ever lived. And incremental movement past that just doesn't make that much difference. You know, 